Paris Soupy. There's many. Where do you want me to stop? First, I'm going to talk to Soupy, and then I'll get back to you, and then you, Nina. I heard all of you. Soupy, how far? Is this it or more? Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Ceremony. Celebrate. Um, celebrate. Yes, yes, you're right. From celebrate. But a ceremony isn't always celebrating because a funeral would be a, ce a ceremony. I think of reception as being a ceremony, but a special kind of ceremony. Let me look it up. Though. So, for example, you, uh, we also can say funeral ceremony, right? So it's not. I would call that a, a, a ceremony. We would have a, yes, I would not call that a reception. Yeah. I think a reception, I don't really think of this, but now that I am, I would say a reception is where you receive people at a special ceremony. Like my daughter is getting married. Mm -hmm. She will have a tiny, tiny reception afterwards where she receives the guests. Mm -hmm. But let's look it up. Because there's dictionaries on here that are far smarter than I am. That's a great question. So this is a formal religious or public occasion, typically one celebrating a particular event. Um, the winners were presented with their prizes at a special ceremony. The ritual observations performed in that. Okay. A formal religious, so yes. So when I have my friends over for pizza or even for Easter dinner, we would not call that a ceremony. But a formal religious or public occasion. But let's see what they say a reception is. I love that you make me think about this thing. Okay. So it would be the second one that you're talking about. Okay, you did. You did. So a formal social occasion held to welcome someone or to celebrate a particular event. So this is interesting. We would say, who knows why, but we would say we're going to have a wedding ceremony followed by a reception. So the wedding is a formal occasion and the reception is where we receive the guests in. So if we decided to have a formal ceremony where you all received a diploma for this class as being the very best students in the world, I don't I see don't, I see it differently, honestly. Um, I don't see it that way because we would have a funeral ceremony followed by a funeral reception. So the ceremony is when we actually I guess the ceremony more typically involves something like a minister doing something or a priest saying something, where the reception afterwards is more of the celebrating. They're so close. They're really close. But again, the best I can think of is my daughter's wedding ceremony, where she will officially get married. The same people will be there as later when we have the um, reception. I'll think about if I can think of a better thing. I would never say, if we had, if everyone graduated here with a diploma, do you know what a diploma is? It's a certificate or an award. 
saying you were the best Thai English students in the world. That's what your diploma would say. That would be, we would have a ceremony where you received that. Ooh, I shouldn't have said that. You'd have a ceremony and I'd give you these certificates. Mm -hmm. Later, you could invite your families in for a reception where we would probably have some treats. Very close. <laughs> yeah, they're very close. Teacher, the word after party, soirée, is a French word, but it's the meaning. At the bottom, no, no. After party, it's a French word, but it means soirée, soirée. Soirée is a party. Party. Well, let's, yes. So these are all, do you know synonyms? Yes. Okay, synonyms mean the same thing. So party, function, social occasion, after party, so read. And I may not be saying that right. Let's make the computer talk. Come on, computer, will you talk to us? Yes. Ah, how to pronounce so read. So read. I don't know. Maybe. Sorry. 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 Okay. Almost sorry. like sorry, but not sorry. 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 Let's see if they really know what they're talking about. Let's try that again. Sometimes, um, yeah, here we go. Sorry. 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 So it's more of a soiree. Soiree. What's that mean? It is a, I think it's a party. Mm, Let's a party. Evening party. Is it an evening? An evening party. You find so red? No, I didn't mean that. I meant. Is it so R E E? Is that what I said? Soiree. So this Soiree. Yes, you said it. Soiree. So rarely do I see that word, although when I read anymore, I see this word more often than I used to, an evening party. But my friends and I wouldn't say that word very much. I wouldn't say, come over for a swallow. I wish I did. But I don't. And they probably wouldn't say that either. But this is a this is something you might read for conversation or music. It's more of a fancy word. <laughs> it's a fancy word. I like it though. I'm going to start saying it because of you guys. Sorry. I like it. Sole fat, f e t e, and axum. F E T. Oh, oh, oh my, we're just learning so many words. Right. Now, let's see how to say that. A celebration or festival. A, a fate. Fet. Fit. Long A. Fit. Fate. A fate. Not fat. Fit. Yes, not fat. <laughs> and now let's make sure we're saying that right. Let's have the computer talk to us. That again is not, that's a word that I would maybe read in a magazine or in a book. I would not say that word very much. It's a fancy word, but it's a good word. Say it to us. Fate. 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 F
Fate. 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 So, yeah. Just fate. like what we said, fate. fate. So I guess that is the right way. Let's have a fate. <laughs> Kind of fancy. And that again is a French word. I bet some of you have taken French. I have not. Have you? Mm -hmm. Has any, have any of you taken French? Mm -hmm. I think French is a very difficult mm -hmm. language for me. But I have been time, learned, but I don't know much. I okay. have Okay. So, anyway, I hope your questions, as I've said before. I want you to think of this as we continue to read. I have a question for you. And in the United States, when we talk about a book, we underline it. Just one of those silly rules. We don't underline magazines, but we underline names of books. A silly rule, just like we put the fork on the left side of the plate. I'm learning to eat like a tie. Spoon, fork. Yes, I like it. Put it in, I love it. Great way. So I want you to be thinking about this, just thinking about it. You will not find the answer written down. It's, you have to think about the book. We know that Steinbeck wanted to make money. That's one reason why he wrote this book. But really, what message is he trying to send his readers through the book? I am a bad teacher. I am a bad teacher because I don't remember the page. Does anyone? We hadn't, we're not ready for the last chapter. Pardon me. Is it 46? Or 45? Oh, you did get 